crater flat, Crater Flat contains five isolated volcanic cones, including Black Cone and a Basaltic Scoria Cone. Can you see how big it is? And you can see Black Cone is over here. And now we'll move on to the next one. Joseph, Nevada. The Joseph area known as White Canyon is now a ghost town of mining past. It is located in a volcanic caldera with gold near the edge. Volcanism began with an eruption that was a few hundred meters thick and produced a tough deposit. This eruption led to the caldera forming collapse of the ground above the magma chamber. Erosion in the caldera has produced isolated pockets of anthracite sand. Further eruptions caused a second caldera collapse. So this area here is Jessup. And moving on to the next one. Steamboat Springs. Steamboat Springs is a small volcanic field of rhyolitic lava domes and flows in western Nevada. There's an extensive geothermal activity in the area, including numerous hot springs, steam vents, and fumaroles. There were formerly a number of geysers in the area, but they have ceased to erupt because of geothermal drilling. And you can read more about it on here. And we'll move on to the next one. Soda Lakes. A 
are two are two lakes located southwest of Fallon, Nevada. And they occupy two basaltic marble volcanoes, which may have erupted in the last fifteen hundred years. The larger lake, called Soda Lake, is somewhat elongated, stretched two kilometers in length, while the smaller one, Little Soda Lake, is two hundred m across. According to early studies of Soda Lakes, Russell, eighteen eighty five, described the Soda Lake basin as follows: the rim of the larger lake is in its highest part rises 80 feet above the surrounding desert and in 19, 165 feet longer higher than the surface of the lake which it encloses the outer slope of the cone is gentle and merges almost imperceptibly with the desert surface but the inner slope is abrupt and at times approaches the perpendicular a series of careful surroundings gives 147 feet as the greatest depth of the lake. The total depth of the depression is therefore 312 feet and its bottom is 232 feet lower than the general surface of the desert near at hand. And this is Little Soda Lake here. This is the bigger Soda Lake here. Yucca Mountain. Yucca Mountain was created by several large eruptions from the Caldera Volcano. Aurora Bodhi Volcanic Field. Aurora Bodhi Volcanic Field in west central Nevada, near the California border, north northeast of Mono Lakes, contains well preserved cinder cones and lava flows of late Pleistocene age. The most prominent feature of Aurora Crater is a 25,000 years before present cinder cone surrounded by lava flows. Mud Spring Volcano is another Pleistocene event with a well-preserved lava flow. Older volcanics of the field include Pleistocene andesite lava domes and Pleistocene cones such as Beauty Peak and Mount, Mount Hicks. And if you look here, this is the Aurora Brody Volcanic Field and over here is Cinder Cone.
Thank you. All land formations are awesome. And that's Mount Hicks there. And that's Aurora Peak there. And moving on to the next one. Easy Chair Cinder Cone. Easy Chair Cinder Cone is a quaternary, which means less than 1.8 million years old, basaltic cinder cone volcano that is part of the lunar crater volcanic field. Around its rim, you can observe volcanic plums and variety of mineral crystals that formed in the cooling magma deep within the earth. And this is really cool looking. How it looks like a chair. Lunar Crater, Lunar Crater Volcanic Field in Central Nevada contains almost 100 Pliocene to Pliocene volcanic vents cutting across the Oligocene Lunar Lake Caldera. The most distinctive feature of the field is a lunar crater in one kilometer wide, 130 m deep, mar. Several northeast trending chains of cinder cones occur within the field, which contains lava flows up to six kilometers long. The ages of the youngest lava flow, the black rock flows, was considered to be early Holocene, but a cosmogenic exposure age of 38,000 plus or minus 10,000 years was obtained from the black rock flow. So this is Lunar Crater. This is the not the landmark here. McCarth Scoriacone.
And this is a skirted cone that is not well known, but you can look it up here on buffalo.edu. Lathrop Wells, Scoria Cone Volcano. The Scoria Cone Volcano, according to the Journal of Volcanology and Geothermal Research. There's Rolling Stone in here. Aurora Crater, the geothermal area, Timber Mountain. Timber Mountain Volcanic Field, located approximately 150 kilometers northwest of Las Vegas, Nevada, consists mainly of basaltic timber cones and lava flows. Reveal range, it's a volcanic field.
Buffalo Valley Volcanic Field. Consists of Pliocene through Quaternary Lava Flows and Splatter Cones located south of Battle Butte, Battle Mountain, and adjacent to Fish Creek Mountains, North Central Nevada. Sheldon Antelope Sheldon Antelope Volcanic Field with several quaternary lava flows along the Nevada Oregon border issue from small shield volcanoes. The only available potassium argon age is 1.2 million years ago. Nice flat top view over here. Clayton Valley Cinder Cone is approximately 39,000 years old. You can see what it's blown out here. Buckboard Mesa.
Buckboard Mesa, this is basalt, Buckboard Mesa is 2.8 million years old, erupted in the northeast part of Timber Mountain Caldera. Adobe Hills Volcanic Field. This is comprised of cinder and scoria cone. Black Mountain. It's two basalt center, 10,000 years old to 300,000. They're located 30 kilometers north of Beatty, Nevada, on the south flank of Black Mountain Caldera Complex. You can see there's something up there. Sleeping View. Two basaltic centers, 10,000 to 300,000 years old, located 30 kilometers north of Nevada on the south flank of the Black Mountain Caldera Complex.
thanks guys for watching and i will be back with another video soon please like subscribe and look below for more information